What's up, up everybody? everybody? I'm Belle. And, I'm and today we're going to be doing One Piece episode 1105. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We also have early uncut access of One Piece over on our Patreon. The links to that in the description below. With that being said, let's jump to the episode. Let's go. All right, here we go. So what's the whole deal with Stassi, man? <clears throat> mm, everybody knocked out. She was like the copy, right? Was yeah, something about copy. She's like, I think her real name is um. So king. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, bro. Relax now, Brooke. Come on now. I did it for a purpose. Mm. Mm. Who is she reporting to? I don't know. Sorry for the trouble. Oh, oh, so she's she working, is working with, with um, him. Oh my gosh. With, oh, um, oh my gosh. With Vegapunk. With Vegapunk yeah. yeah, she's working with them. So we, we kind of, you know, we spoke about that last episode. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe like she's working with them because, you know, she's from this, not from, but she's been here before mm -hmm. or whatever. So like, Man, they've been communicating. Vegapunk has some pool. <laughs> All right then. Some government so pool. So she's an ally of Vegapunk. Mm. All right, now we know she's an ally. All right, then. Unexpected ally. Oh, York, she's here? Okay. <laughs> mm. Undercover operation for 20 years. She has been our ally. Wow. Ah. Mm. But ending up that way. Wow, 20 years. I can't stop them. Mm. They need to be quick about it, man. Mm. Mm. Mm, of oh, course. of course he's looking at him. Right. Looks like Mihawk. He's like, I don't want that one right there. Right. That's who Zoro gonna go fight for sure. Dude, are, you, are is he gonna take the order or nah? What's happening? He's attacking. Yo, what's going on? Is that a thing oh, take Zoro. the hit? Zoro's oh, gonna stop of it. course. <laughs> Seraphim Mihawk versus Zoro. Mm. <laughs> okay, Zoro! Yeah! <laughs> okay. You're more of a human than ah, he is. Ah, interesting. Hmm. What, what would make him say that? Right. Mihawk is probably just right. impossibly strong. <laughs> Yo, give the order, Lilith. What's right. going on, man? Okay, Edison got it. Yo. Are they just not... What is going on? Frankie are to they, the rescue. Are they not doing it right? I don't know. It seems like they're still attacking. No way he's dead. Oh, is that Sanji? <laughs> <laughs> Are you worrying about Edison? <laughs> The command finally went through. 
You know, that's this is the issue I thought that CP0 was gonna run into because of the order of like authority with the Seraphim. Like the thing is, Vegapunk has the authority over them. Which is interesting because they explained that at the beginning of this yeah. arc. And the mm -hmm. only people that have authority over Vegapunk is those elders. Yeah, but they're not here. Right, but th that's what made me, you know, question like what the heck is Odo really saying here? Because CP0 can't win unless unless the elders here. I, I don't see how, I don't see a way they could win here. Hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. Stussy's gonna come along too? Okay. <laughs> Without even asking. Oh my gosh, Sanji. <laughs> so, she, was she the one that was communicating with Vegapunk on the phone I a few episodes so, ago? Yeah. She sounded so different. That's what kind of, I guess, threw us, threw us off. Cause she didn't sound like Stussy. She sounded different. Oh, Luffy. Oh yeah, he's with um Bonnie right now. And they can't leave without him. Mm. Mm. An incident occurred. Disappeared. No, um, what's her name? Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. Turned him into a baby. Yeah, right. that was the last thing we saw. Right, and then they're like in that room with the big paw. Mm -hmm. Paw thing. Is this kid? No. Oh, this is Marco's probably here. Yeah, this is where Marco's at. That's such a beautiful little town. Mm. They're no different from pirates. So this happened here. Interesting. Who the heck are these guys? I think oh, we've wait. seen him before. Uh, no, wait. No, we've never seen no? this guy. No, but he looks like the from early, the mouse early One Piece. Looking, I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, he was like some kind of animal looking one as well. But that's definitely not him. This guy looks... <laughs> I don't even know how to yeah. describe him, really. Yeah, he looking crazy. Hmm. Uh-oh. Creepy voice. Hmm. That boy looked like he got the rat rat fruit. He does look like a rat. <laughs> Oh, they're attacking the elderly. Nah, One Piece won't do that. No, nah, no way. One Piece will not do that. <laughs> what, what don't they? What, One Piece bat antagonists are pretty terrible, though. Nah, but they're not gonna shoot this lady straight up like that. They, I think they've done a lot, a lot of crazy things. You're probably forgetting because we've watched a lot of One Piece, but nah, these antagonists in One Piece are are crazy. They do, they do a lot of things that make you hate them. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's Sheeta. Oh, yo, that's the, the that's, the, that's, guy, oh, that's the, the guy. That's the guy. Yeah, the white beard son. <laughs> yeah, because that's people were saying that with Stussy and all right, that, right? Because like, of the name and everything, mm -hmm. that Stussy is probably they a both clone. have the same last name. Yeah, so same last name, whatever. It's like a clone of the original. So this Stussy. is where probably they're gonna tie everything together. Right. My, My daddy's, daddy's hometown. hometown. <laughs> Edward Weevil. Weevil. Right. That's Weevil's his name. Weevil's the last name. Right. Ah. Okay. She that came and animated that part. That was cool. 
<laughs> they, they left. Former warlord Weevil. Oh yeah, he was a warlord at some point too. Weevil, really? Yeah, because when I they had the new about warlord that. stuff, yeah, he became a warlord. Oh, is that um? Wait. I think I know who that is. I th that's that's oh, Stussy. Right. That's, that's, that's the real Stussy. Right. Because people were trying to remind us. Um, so Admiral came. They took Weevil. The Admiral took him away. Give me back my son. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Miss Buckin, free freeloader at Mads, Mads. self-proclaimed scientist. X, X rock, rock party. <laughs> they're just doing. Yo, so damn! Well. What the heck is going on, man? It, like, like you know, what is, freeloader. What's they're the, ranking what's the word? on her. They're ranking on yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> so when interesting, because so Mads is basically what we're reminding us is basically the group that all the scientists together would judge, and like Vegapunk and like these other scientists mm -hmm. throughout One Piece that basically got together. Um, so she was a, she was the freeloader there, which is interesting, and she's self-proclaimed. Which which begs the question: <laughs> She's a freeloader and self-proclaimed. Is Weevil really Whitebeard's son, or is that because when I, when we first got introduced to Weevil, I thought it was all BS. It was I'm a like, joke. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was a joke. Yeah. This guy's saying he's Whitebeard's mm -hmm. son. I didn't think I didn't <laughs> take him serious, but now see, seeing that her introduction is a freeloader and a self-proclaimed scientist, that tells me she's probably lying. That yeah. there is no way. But then again, she's here. So why is she here? So maybe, maybe Whitebeard, <laughs> you know, <laughs> trolling us. The, 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 you know, the other stuff. She, you know, before she got old. Mm. That maybe, maybe that's why Whitebeard ended up, you know. There we go. Bucking, Real name. Fucking on Stussy up. <laughs> ah, he doesn't believe it as well. There's someone mm. who can prove it. Ah. Vegapunk can prove it. Everything, okay. Everything goes back to Vegapunk. World God. See, that's the thing. This is um uh yeah um. They are on their they're Kizaru. on their way to um Egghead, I believe, right? Right, but why is there a world government ship there? World government is only with the CP zero guys. The Navy never has world government, so why would a world government ship be here? Maybe the elders? Yo, that's what I'm thinking. Because remember, Cause they're, the, like, they're the only ones that that's above Vegapunk that control the Seraphim. Yeah, and that would really be a plot twist. Right. That's, uh, what that's was, what's going on. That's, pro that's, that's for sure what's, what's going, going on. on. They're in that room. Have you ever met Dr. Vegapunk before? Hmm. Oh, it is! That's one of them! Yo, and, and it is! Like, yeah, just once. He's met oh Vegapunk before. Oh my gosh, so an elder is cut. These guys can actually fight? <laughs> Yo! He betrayed the Wait, people? Wait, you said you think that this elder is going to fight? Like well, he's going to throw hands? Why would, why would he come? This is a... Wait, Saint, hold up. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. Of the five, of the elders. five elders. Highest, highest authority of the world. Authorities of the right, world. Right, yeah, the elders, besides oh, the one that's on the throne. So this is gonna. And the Evil. thing is, is like, um, they can't even. They're not leaving Egghead yet because they're trying to find Vegapunk. So that's gonna solve them. This elder is gonna end up coming and probably messing up the whole thing. Saint J. Garcia Saturn of the five elders, highest authorities of the world. So his name is Jay Garcia. That's such an interesting name for an elder, right? Saturn. Jay Garcia, so casual. Saint, though, like, is, is that supposed to be? Mean? Is that supposed to be that saint? Is that, is that supposed I to be believe saint? so. Yeah. Saint Jay Garcia Saturn of the Five Elders. Interesting, Jay Garcia Saturn. But that's crazy, man. I, you know, I was, I was saying this. I was thinking there's no way that Oda would write himself like this, like. He's giving, he, I, I thought he was giving Vegapunk too much power. Mm. I'm like, there has to, like, if the elders are above Vegapunk, is he thinking of bringing an elder to this arc? Because we're in the end game of One Piece, and when the heck are we really going to see these elders, um, you know, in real action? And it looks like we're about to see that. Yeah. Because 
yo this is crazy man an elder's about to show up I, you know i've always looked at these elders as like okay they control the world but maybe they're not real fighters maybe they're just up there they're not really yeah. moving you know what i'm saying they're just um you know in the you know in, in marriage wine just you know running the show and not really about anything but this guy is he's going there that tells me something that tells me that these guys are probably strong they're probably powerful mm -hmm. they're probably like they, they probably can fight yeah so um i mean we'll i see. never really thought of these elders being capable of yeah of fighting i thought they were just like authority figures and they just tell people what to do when they right. run things but yeah you make a great point maybe they can actually fight like yeah. i mean obviously like, he has a scar on his face so right right he's just, definitely and, and done one, his... one of them has a sword he's like a samurai looking guy so right so yeah we yeah, might, well, they might just yo, surprise us. This is about to be yo. Egghead is this is what we coming with? Oh man! And okay. we have an elder, right? Like showing up. So we've never seen this before in One Piece. So yeah. Here we go, man. Let, let's let's keep going. This is about to get crazy. Saturn. What has happened is a shame. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna tell you something off camera. Wow. About this guy. What? No, I don't want to say it. I'm not gonna say it oh, on camera. I, okay. I, no, you no, no, may. No, no, no. no I, I think I'm seeing what you're okay. putting down right okay. now. Okay. But I'm you not know? gonna say. Uh, no, oh, don't. No, no, I'm not gonna say. Go no, no, of, of course go, I'm not go gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. Oda is cooking. I, I told you guys, man. Oda is. He knows something. Oda's cooking, man. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's let's go to Edison and Lilith and, and check this out. Marco. Oh, it's first called Tweet Tweet. I didn't know that. It's like Tweety Bird. Mm. Yo, this is one of the best Sheeta animated episodes. I, th this is what made me like Marco. love Marco as a character. Like he literally took the top spot ahead of Zoro for me when I saw that episode. I love me. No one's on, yeah. on top of yeah, Zoro. Yeah, I think Zoro's still number one for me now. Yo, know, Marco just kind of faded. All right, guys. Um. Wow, wow, wow. Great episode. An I'm elder so showing up to, to freaking Egghead. Mm. Um, you know what's crazy? I was thinking about this while watching this episode. Um, I think the last episode we ended off with, with also seeing um Kid like getting to Elbaf or something. Like he was about to get to Elbaf. Kid, oh yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting how um, you know, obviously the the, the three the top three from the worst generation. Well, wait, is Blackbird oh. is Blackbird considered the worst generation too? No, I don't think is it part of the, is it no, Blackbeard's too old. No, no, no way. Blackbeard's a part. No, no. So, but the top three from the from the worst generation: Luffy, Kid, and, and Law. They all took different paths. Mm -hmm. Like when they left Wano, you know. And Luffy ended up in, in, in Egghead. Mm -hmm. Law ended up fighting Blackbeard. We still don't know what the hell happened to Law. And um, you know, presumably Law probably lost his devil fruit powers and just you know, he's basically a 2.0. And then we have um, you know, Kid getting mm -hmm. to Elbaf. You know, what's connected there is that Vegapunk was saying how the information from from um that island of the books and everything mm -hmm. um went back to elbaf yes yeah so kid being at elbaf is very interesting to because like what if what if kid finds out something yeah like, while he's at while he's at El mm -hmm. elbaf um you know and like seeing this this elder get it. we're in the we're in the end game this is the end game of one piece like Oda's not lying. When I think a few years ago, Oda was saying like, "Oh, One Piece got like probably five more years or however many more years." He was saying, and people was like, "Oh, it's probably not crazy. true." It, this it, looking at the story right now, where we're going, like we're we're getting there. This is we're getting to the end game. We're progressing a lot. Yeah, and Luffy being Gear Five and being the you know Sun God N Nika or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and all that, and and being Joy Boy. Oda is cooking something mm -hmm. here, and obviously with a lot of um, <clears throat> you know, if you know, you know, a lot of hidden things and what not they're not hidden Oda's putting it in your face if you know if you know about it you know about it mm -hmm. and um and I'm sure a lot of people are aware they just they just refuse to see it that way um mm -hmm. but man I can't wait to see how we're gonna how this is gonna play out and Elder yeah. getting to Egghead this is about to be crazy yeah and the thing is like I I think um the straw hats are gonna face off with this elder because I mean they're supposed to leave Egghead, right? And everyone's on board the ship, but we're missing Vegapunk, and so that's what's stalling us right now from actually leaving Egghead. Mm. So man, I just I just want to see how everything is gonna play out, and the elder specifically, how powerful is this elder? Mm. Um, if it boils, if it comes down to it, can Luffy really face off? 
against an elder. Luffy's a Luffy's a Yonko. Luffy is, but he's an elder. Yeah, not only is Luffy the main character, that is the we've like never we've seen never, that we've, yeah, never. we've never seen that level of a, of a threat really before. No. Like you and know, we've seen the admirals. The admirals are really strong. We we fought Kaido. Kaido mm -hmm. is a Yonko. He's really strong. Luffy defeated him. But this is a different. If it, you know, what we're assuming that this elder can fight. I'm assuming so. He has, I, he, a scar he has, on his he has face. scars on his yeah. face. Why is he showing up to Heg Head? Like, sure, he has authority, but if he's gonna use his authority, he's gonna have to get close to the Seraphim. That's why. That's what mm. makes me think that he can fight because it's not just he could just sit at, on the boat and be like, "Oh, f f Seraphim, do this." No, you gotta be close. Mm. So if he gotta be close, means this dude can fight. That to me, that's what it says. So this is gonna be a different level threat, and um. I don't know, bro. I I don't know how this is gonna play out, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm we'll excited see. too because I know we've seen so many comments about Egghead arc, Egghead arc, and how this is possibly the best arc in all of One Piece. So yeah, so far, I feel yeah. like and now I'm starting to see what you guys are talking about because yeah. the elder showed up, and I mean they can only go up from here. The stakes are high. The stakes are very high right now. Um. We'll see you guys, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Link in the description below. Definitely, guys. See you guys later. Show us out.